guys, I'm back here with another unboxing. This is an, a, a figure by Orchard Seed, a 1-7 scale figure. And it's uh, Taya Kukten, I think that's how you say her name. It might be completely wrong, but that's my shot of saying her name correctly. So, this side of it. She actually has three versions of her. So this is uh, the original version with black hair. She has a limited edition version, which is like three times the cost of this. Uh, and she has blonde hair with that, and it comes with an exclusive item. And then one that was just released uh, in November this month, and that is with red hair, and it's a strawberry version. But I went ahead and got this one. Got it from uh, Mandarake, since I saw her on there and she wasn't very expensive at all. The 170 scale figure. And she looks on this side, so. Duck. And then right there, all, all you see is just her on the inside. The inside actually has her. So it actually has a picture of her. See it? So it comes with this, which is the bucket she uses to wash herself. It comes with one gray duck, a bigger white one, and then three of these yellow ones. And then this actual stand, so that's like, I don't know what that's for. You see the, the hot and cold, and then hot and cold, and then like where she stands on the platform, and then like the back, I guess, where the window would be. This is actually how she comes. She had that yellow thing. And then you can take the towel off and have her just like this. And then she has a button right there. And then right there. I know if you get different color ones, uh, that bracelet changes the colors. So far, every figure I've owned from Orchid Seed I've really liked. The last figure I did was of Chiharu Nisakawa, and that, that was a couple weeks ago. I saw this figure and I really liked it, so I decided to get it as well. And I have to say, it was really nice sculpted. Um, the hair is really nice sculpted. Um, you don't see like you, you you don't see real bad where they put the last attachments on her two buns on the top. And as you were able to see. Uh, from the previous Orchid Seed figures is that most of them are all cast off figures so on this one uh, she, you can actually take off the tail that she has in front of her and then you can also take off her head um, I don't know why I mean it's not you can s switch her facial expression or anything but you can do that if you want on this figure they also paid good attention to her fingernails on her hands and on her feet they didn't they weren't painted any actual color if anything they're a little bit yellow but you weren't able to see her hands very well because um, since they're small but you can still see that um, each hand has a fingernail so they pay attention to that and I like um, I have a couple figures where they don't go that much into detail, detail but Orchard Seed does go that extra step on it the facial expression on this one is also really nice and then as you can see she has a small little mo under her right eye this is probably my favorite base that comes with the figure mainly because it comes with all the extra stuff like the five ducks, the gray, the, the three yellow ones, and then the bigger white one, and then it comes with the bucket. And then the whole background, you can actually tell that she's in um, a bathhouse. So it was really nice. I really liked the attention to detail. They even went as far as putting the red and blue for the cold and hot faucets on both of them. So that was a really nice touch. And then they even put that window where you can't really see through it, but that you'll see on shower doors. So that was a really nice touch that I liked. This is probably my first Lolly cast off figure that I have. And I know that they don't really make many. The closest thing I have to something similar to this would be my 
Koniko Tojo that I have from High School DXD where she has her shirt off and then I actually have the soft chest version. I never did an unboxing of but I'll put a quick picture of how that one looked. The hair on this one is really nice uh, where they go with the two buns. I know there was uh, two other versions where one she has blonde hair and the other one which recently came out she has like reddish hair and that's they call it the strawberry version. I was debating which one I'd get but I like this one the most and I think this one's the original one. Um, I may or may not get the other ones mainly because I'm focusing on getting some other figures so uh, I probably won't get the other ones. I'll just stay with this one. This one's nice already. On this one she does have um, the black bracelet with, with the red dog tag looking thing on it. Uh, the other ones have different colors. I don't remember the other colors on them but with every version you get a different color one. Uh, they're still the same as far as the towel and then the stuff that it comes with. I know that the yellow one or the blonde version one uh, it is exclusive and I don't know exactly what comes with it so you have to check on that. I have to say that Orchard Seed really does do good job on their figures and this one's no exception. This one is like I've said it's really high quality it looks really nice they pay attention to every detail and they especially going with the base because most of the figures I have it just comes with the plain base or maybe like my K-On ones that just say K-On on it and that's it this one it went, they went the extra step and added little props with it so it, I really like that and it was really nice so I would highly recommend this figure if you want or if it's even I know um, I saw that some some aren't allowed in some countries just because the way it looks but I mean if you can get it I would recommend it it's really nice I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and quick review of this figure by Orchard Seat one seven scale figure of Tay Kupton I think that's how you say your name it can be completely wrong but that's how I'll say it I have uh, some more figures coming in one more Christmas themed figure and then um, that Shauna one that I still have there I'll unbox at some point. Mainly, I haven't unboxed it mainly because I have no room to put it inside my case where Shauna is. As you can see uh, up there, where I have my Shauna figures, it's completely full. But I still haven't got in my other case. As always, I'll see you in the next one.